أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين يا كان عبد الله يسمى سعيد يدنا سورة المسكين سورة الذين أنعم عليهم غير مغضوب عليهم ولا دولين آمين ماني من الجامعة من الشيخ سعيد الرجيم رضي الله تعالى المسي ودبت قيسي السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته My topic today is about fasting, importance of fasting. My brothers and sisters, um, I would like to start with um, explanation, you know, of fasting. My brothers and sisters, we um, fasting comes in different ways. So we, we fast during the period of Ramadan, and there are so many fasting. They are fasting um, ibad that you can fast for ibadah uh, as an act of worship as well, my brothers and sisters, may Allah subhanahu wa help us. Fasting is very, very important. It helps you, you know, to help others. My brothers and sisters, it helps you to, um, it helps to clean your heart and purify you. Fasting purify you. It helps you to, um, to feel harder. It helps you to, to, to be good. My brothers and sisters, you know, and also it helps you to be close to God and to become a better person. How do fasting help us to become a better person? A lot of people think, oh, how do fasting help us to, to okay, we understand it helps you to be close to God, but how does it help us to be, to become a better person? My brothers and sisters, fasting helps to become a better person because we have rules of fasting. When you're fasting now, you you have to caution yourself because you know you're fasting you you watch what you say you watch what you do you watch where you go you know you be careful you make sure you're close to god you do a lot of ibadah don't you even if it's fasting you know as an act of worship or ramadan you know you're close to god you you do you recite your quran you do prayer mostly you engage yourself in good things during this time of fasting this is how it helps you to be good you know, and when you do a lot of it, when you do a lot of fasting, it helps you, you know, um, all the good becomes your normal way of life. You know, at all times you think, oh, you're still fasting, so you watch what you say, you watch what you do. Then from there, you, before you know it, you become a better person already. Now, right, and sisters, it encourages, it, it, it helps us to become a better person, and it also helps us to be, to be close to Allah, to one Allah, to Allah. And really, if you're close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, my brothers and sisters, you remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at all times, and Allah remembers you at all times. My brothers and sisters, what else? You know, if you're in big battle now, if there's no one with you, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is right there with you, so what else do you need? What more do you need? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us, so it's obvious that you're going to win the battle. You know, no matter how big the battle is, no matter, you know, no matter how the battle is. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will surely help you to win. My brothers and sisters, let us encourage our, our children, you know, to fast them. Let us help them, you know, if they want to fast, you know, even if they don't want to, let us encourage them, let us talk them into doing it. You know, let us make them do it, you know, not in a harsh way, you know, but in a calm way. Let them see why it's good. Explain to them, tell them why it's good, tell them why it's good to be close to God. Then they realize, oh, Mom, okay, let me try. Dad, okay, I'll try. I'll try. Then they will try. Kids like trying things. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help our children. And also, fasting help you to help others. When someone asks you for food now, you know, when someone asks you for food, or maybe someone is standing right there next to you and telling you, Brother, please help me. I'm hungry. Or you saw someone sitting on the road, a beggar, you know, begging you for money. That he or she is hungry. You didn't eat all day. You remember when you were fasting, you know? When you're fasting, you don't eat. Sometimes you feel hungry, but you, if you if you beg Allah to make the fasting easy for you, it will be easy. You won't even feel it till you break your fast, you know? But immediately when the person is asking you for money, you remember, you know, money for food. You remember that, oh, subhanAllah. You, you, you give the person food. Either give the person food or you give the person money. You know, it helps you to, to help the poor. It helps you to, 
to feel others when they're saying they're hungry you know what hunger is you know how it feels may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us then the next is um you know it helps you you know you, and also you can use it to, um, as an um to, uh, to ask god for forgiveness because a lot of some people you know they beat themselves to ask for forgiveness my brothers and sisters you shouldn't do this you shouldn't hurt yourself Allah don't want you to hurt yourself. You don't hurt yourself. You don't hurt others. You know, it's not allowed. Beating is not allowed in Islam. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam do not beat himself to ask for forgiveness. You ask Allah for forgiveness either by doing this to give her. We have it in so many ways. or just You know. Or after Gafrula Lezim and Lezila Laila, why you for you more at you will lay in. You know, so there are so many ways of doing this thing. If I just ask God for forgiveness and God will forgive you. And even if you think, you know, you want, you want to go into fasting to ask for forgiveness, you can you can go into fasting to ask for forgiveness. And Allah SWT will forgive you. You know, and um, some people fast, you know, they do their talk, they do talk fasting, you know. They say, oh, we want to, they want to fast, you know, um, they, they want to fast their talk, so that way they won't talk to anybody, they won't do any, they won't communicate to, with anybody until they break their talk fasting. My brothers and sisters, it's nothing like this in Islam. It's not allowed. You don't do talk fasting. You can only fast, you know, you stop yourself from eating. It's like you deprive, people, people will say, okay, they deprive themselves to worship God. You know, like you deprive yourself from drinking, from eating, from, you know, from doing so many things to worship God. You don't deprive yourself from talking. You talk. You talk to people. You don't talk faster. There's nothing like that in Islam. You don't fast your talk. You know, you talk to people. If you want to fast, you fast. You can only fast, you know, by not eating and drinking, you know, and doing all sorts of things that you're not allowed to do. You know, we all know the rules of fasting. There's so many there things that you can do and there's things that you, you're not allowed to do, you know. So this is what we should um, learn, you know, and make sure we understand. There's no talk faster and you can't beat yourself to ask for forgiveness. And that's why I like to Allah help us. And then, um, you must not fast all year round. Some people will say, oh, because you love God. There are so many ways to worship Allah, when I like to Allah. There's so many ways to worship Allah. You can you can choose to last. You can do as much um, prayer as you can, as much not last you can. You can you can stay up night if you like, you know. But not all night. You know, if you have family, you go to your family. If you have a wife, you go to your wife. If you have husband, you go to your husband. You don't you don't worship God all night, you know. And also you don't fast all year round. It's not allowed in Islam. You don't fast all year round. It's not allowed. You, can, you either fast maybe on Monday, like our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. fast on Monday because that is the best day. You know, that's the day they gave birth to him. That's Monday, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. May Allah be pleased with him. It's Monday. You know, so you can fast on Monday, like our beloved Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, or fast on Thursday because all deeds will be taken to Allah subhanahu wa taala on Thursday. You know, all the files will be taken to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Every week, weekly files will be taken to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Record everything will be taken to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on Thursday. So you can do your fasting on Thursday, you know, according to our beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He does fasting on Thursday as well. He said he wants, when they want to take his, um, his record to God, that he wants, he wants it, you know, written in there that he is fasting. So that's why our beloved prophet fast on Thursday. So you can fast either Monday and Thursday, or you know you can say, okay, I want to fast for God for three days. In your intention, or ten days, or seven days, or twenty days, you know, to ask for either forgiveness, blessing, you know, or just as an act of ibadah. May Allah subhanahu wa taala help us, my brothers and sisters. You know, um, it's very very important to be close to God. There are so many ways you can you know, choose to, to you know, to, to, to worship God. You can either go by fasting or go by um, praying or go by reciting the Holy Quran. You know, there's so many ways, but we should try 
I'm follow the uh, Sunnah of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Try and follow the ways of our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Because Allah subhanahu wa taala says, "I see Allah, I see Rasul." Follow Allah and follow Prophet Muhammad. He is the leader. He knows best. He is the best teacher. You know, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. May Allah be pleased with him and his family, his followers, his household. May Allah be pleased with all the Muslim men and women. May Allah be pleased with all the Muslim children, you know, and adults. May Allah be pleased with all the old people. May Allah help us all. May Allah help all the sick. May Allah help all the um. May Allah help each and every one of us. May Allah answer all our prayers. Insha Allah, my brothers and sisters, fasting helps you to be close to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Do not wait till the time of trial. Do not wait till the time of, of um, time of problem. Do not wait till Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala will test you before you can if you you try to be close to Allah. May Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala help us. I thank you very much for listening to me once again. My name is Jamia. I'm Sheikh Saeed Al Majid. Rabbi Allah Taala. I leave you in peace. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.